Welcome back to Hogan Racing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Today, we're doing the Assetto Corsa craziest drift cars. I tried to find the most ridiculous drift cars or ones that just put a smile on my face. They're not really drift cars. They're just outrageous cars that you can drift. Starting out with none other than the uh, DMC DeLorean from Back to the Future. <laughs> I can't believe they have a drift edition of this and I had to put it in here. The track we're on is Lego Speed World Champs. It's like a fantasy Lego land track and it is so sick. Okay, I mean, just real quick, look at the inside of this thing. It is like, I mean, I've never been in the Back to the Future DMC DeLorean. I don't know if you guys have, but I feel like it's pretty spot on. Let's give her a rip. Whoa. Oh, look at the Legos! <laughs> it definitely has uh, the good old cheater physics on it, but I think a lot of these cars will today because they're just like total fantasy cars. These are all going to be cars today that are just a fun experience. They're not necessarily like, what the heck just happened? What did I, what? Hold on a second. I don't know what just happened. I'm tripping. I, I could honestly... I could drive this thing for a minute. This thing's so fun. Ooh, oh! All right. We got four more cars though. Let's let's freaking move on. That is so fun though. DeLorean, <laughs> ridiculous. Next up we have the M9 drift cart, but this one was modified and it's now called the Fat Matt drift cart. PH, <laughs> like, like cool. Not like fat. This was created by some of the mods in the Discord. Apparently it has 1500 horsepower why we need 1500 horsepower in a tiny little go-kart. I don't know. Look at it. <laughs> this is from one of the Can You Drift Challenge videos. I did Can You Drift in a sumo suit and they put it on the side. That video is so ridiculous. Welcome to Haugen Racing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I really don't know what to expect here. Oh! <laughs> Okay, all right, understeer. Brakes. Oh, baby. This thing's taking off. Hey, I mean, this thing, like, I, you don't even need words. It's just ridiculous. Is it like a dialed in drift car? Absolutely not. But it's so fun. And this, again, is like such an experienced car, like being like so low to the ground and seeing the ground beneath you, like nothing in your view, it's wild. I don't know how fast I'm going, but it really, it feels really fast. Oh, baby. Uh, I'm telling you, you guys gotta try this car and this track together. It is a riot. I think I could actually use longer gearing. This thing has so much power, obviously. Alright. Alright, you know what? Let's just spin around real quick. I just wanna feel what that's like. Okay, that did not work. Oh, and we are falling through the track. Okay, that's our signal to move on. All right, next up, we have the HFH Toyota Supra Drift. I believe this car has 4,000 horsepower. I'm just gonna let this car speak for itself. Come on, baby! It's so laggy! Come on, baby! Boost up! Come on! Oh! 
<laughs> this car is like just stupid. God, once that boost kicks in though, it's ridiculous. Whoa! Okay. All right, that, that is enough of that. We got two more cars. Let's keep moving. All right, next up we have the T2DC Jeep Willys with the SR20 DET swap converted into a drift car. There's like a street version and a comp version and another version. Um, I just happened to pick the street version and it's pretty ridiculous. This is another really crazy like experience car. It does have cheater physics, just gonna toss that out. Oh! <laughs> I'm like so not used to cheater physics. <laughs> They're fun though, like you can just go nuts. I shouldn't call them cheater physics, I should just call them like unrealistic physics. That's just a, that's a word some people use that are like sticklers about it. I could care less. I think the modified physics are really fun and I think they definitely have their place. I think this thing, if it didn't have it, it would be like impossible to drive because it's so short. I just want to do a little shameless plug, guys. Uh, thank you so much for all the love we've been getting the last couple months. If you guys want to support us even further, make sure to subscribe, but also check out our merch on hogaracing.com. But I think on that note, we need to go to our last vehicle. I'm just like jamming right now on this thing. This thing's really fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. On that note, we're gonna, <laughs> we're moving on. All right, last but not least, we got the Drift Madhouse Transit. Have you ever wanted to drift a delivery truck? Well, now we can. And then, this is the DHL special. I just thought it looked rad. Okay, I'm gonna start out with the bad right off the bat. I hate the sound of this thing. I don't know what engine sound they did, but it's terrible. Let's shred this thing, because it is pretty fun. And if you're a modder yourself, you can like easily replace the sound. I just, I'm too lazy for that. I'm just saying, any modders that are watching this, if you guys make a car like, I don't know about other people, but to me the sound is so important. That like will make a breaker car. Like I would actually probably make more videos with this thing, but I don't think I will because the sound is just so terrible and it really kind of, it, it ruins the experience for me. But maybe this is kind of what they sound like. You know, they're not like powerful things. So maybe that's part of the point. I don't know. Are we going to make it under this bridge? I Did we touch that bridge? I, that looked really sketch. I feel like we're pretty high up in the air. I think on that note, guys, I'm gonna end this video. Stay tuned though, and hit that subscribe button because next week, we're doing a set of course of Crazy Drift Tracks. And also, if you guys aren't watching our build series, please watch that. Make sure you subscribe, check those videos out, check out our merch, algonracing.com, and let's hit 100K subs. All right, love you guys, see ya.